The idea behind Zuberi is to build an organization and also a product that really understands the African worker. So we want to understand their habits, we want to understand what they like, what they don't like, um, and then offer them products and tools um, which improve their financial wellness. Um, so our first product is a platform called Zuberi Stream. It's a mobile application um, which allows African workers to see their salary, see how much they earn in real time, um, and then whenever they need money, to make it a request. We identified a few challenges on the African market, three challenges actually. Um, the first one is financial inclusion. Um, so workers are being um, sold products with high interest rates um, that they can't even calculate, right? And so what's happening is that it is solving their problem short term, but long term is putting them into cycles of debt, right? We've spoken to so many workers who are in debt um, and they're trying to pay off and yes we've been helping them but some of them are in really bad situations um, and then the second one is unplanned expenses if you look at the African market it's very volatile you know anything can happen at any time um, and you know employee employees are really met with expenses that they never planned for right and you know for example COVID-19 who would have thought that Ghana or Nigeria would go into a lockdown? Now, if you are an employee who gets paid on a monthly basis, um, it's quite difficult for you to prepare and support your family to go into lockdown when you are only getting paid once in a month. Um, and so that's what the very stream solves. It solves that problem. And then the third one is just, you know, we've spoken to employers who, when we offer them the product, you know, they're like, wow, you know, my employees are constantly asking me for you know, salary advances very early um, in the month. Um, so this kind of solves that problem. Um, so those are the three challenges that the very stream just instantly just solves. Michael William London. So the culture here is very, I mean, we've hired people who express themselves, right? Um, I myself, I'm from an unconventional background um, and I believe that people perform better when they are free to do the work that they think um, is best to solve whatever problem that it is. Um, so we're trying to build a culture that is full of problem solvers, a, a culture that people can just be free um, bring their ideas to the table and know that you know even if it's a silly idea we're not going to dismiss it right that's that's the culture that we're building in I think it starts from the way we are hiring um, we are very selective at the moment there's not many of us but we've been selective as to who to bring through the door um, to help us on our mission and you know aside that you know we've, we've got a very strong product culture right we're not trying to build a solution once and put it out on the market and just, you know, if it never breaks, we're never going to touch it again. No, we are constantly speaking to customers. I mean, our first 50 customers, I know them by name because I've been speaking to them every single day. Um, we all do customer service, you know, we all speak to our customers um, because I feel like no matter which department you're in, if you're an engineer, if you're sales, if you're in growth, um, if you're a designer, I feel like you need to speak to your customer. Um, and so that's what we've been doing. You know, we've been communicating um, just so that we can have a well, more rounded um, perspective on what we are building. How do we see the future? Um, it's going to be odd, right, if uh, a worker cannot go to work today and access their money on the same day um, all around the world. I think people are going to want to control their lives much more at a granular level. Um, when you look at what's happening around us with TV, with Amazon, with you know whatever it is, things are moving very quickly. The only industry that hasn't changed and hasn't um, caught up is payroll. Um, and I think that Zuberi will be at the forefront of that. Um, I think people will come to us to understand who the African worker is um, because of the type of insights um, and analytics that we have internally that we're collecting. And yeah, we're just, we're looking forward to this. We're looking forward to 
um, seeing how the continent shapes up in terms of financial wellness and financial inclusion. Um, and yeah, we, we will be in the mix. Um, so it looks very bright.